Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HZ. This is video 22, and today we're talking about the fold module. So it's a wave shaper module that literally folds the waveform back into itself. So let's go to the init preset here, and underneath this oscillator one, let's go ahead and select fold here at the very bottom. We have two of these. So what's really cool about this guy here is according to the manual, they say like hardware units, Zebra's fold module sounds best when applied to signals with very little high frequency content. So that's gonna be exactly what we're gonna do. Let's go to the oscillator one here, go to the preset and let's select the sine tree. So we just have a sine wave. So let's disable this. And we have a sine wave. Okay, so let's bring this thing back here, and basically we have this screen, which kind of looks really cool, it's all nice and red, but anyway, we have ripples over here, so this is going to be how many ripples or how many folds we want in this here, by default it comes at four, so we can go to one here, and then we can go to two, three, four, all the way to seven, that's pretty much self-explanatory, how many of those folds that we want, and how that's going to change this sound, so let's kind of go through these and see how they sound. Let's get a waveform right here so we can actually see it here. Let's turn our volume up a little bit here so we can hear a little bit better. Something like that. Okay, so we'll start at one here. Kind of almost squarish. So yeah, very interesting. That kind of looks like an Excel spreadsheet over here. That's kind of funny. But anyway, so we have the ripples. We can choose one through seven, how many ripples that we want to have. And then we have our knob folds here, and this uses a percentage of the total amount of ripples. So let's say we are, we're a default at four here, right? And you can kind of see, it might be a little bit hard, but this is kind of highlighted. And the more we increase this folds here, the more these things are going to be highlighted. So the more of these fold percentage we're going to be using. Yeah, so we can get out of control pretty quick there. And as you see how this is kind of expanding this here, if we use this bias, it's kind of going to be moving it around. So maybe we like this amount of folds, but we kind of want to go somewhere up here to the right and have a little bit of these second folds here and then this kind of curve as well. Kind of interesting. Then we have this ratio down over here. So this is the level of the ripples. They function as basically an output control. So if we like the sound, we can always boost it here a little bit with this ratio knob here. And below that we have slope. So basically see how this is kind of angle, angling angling upwards, I suppose. We can always change this here and see how it kind of moves all the way to the left. It's kind of descending and then to the right it's ascending. So really depending on how you want to do that. And then we have a bias modulation knob here and then we have a fold modulation knob as well. And the last couple things, this, this module is not too difficult, but we have this clip angle here and as we move this, these kind of anchor points here, these little curves are going to be a little bit harsher to the left and then a little bit smoother to the right. And last but not least, we have this live view. And on the surface, we might think, okay, what does this thing do? What what is what's the whole point of this? And basically, this is live animation. So if you if we want to see how our folds are being modulated in real time, then we can click the live view. So an example of that here. So let's kind of move this knob here a little bit, and maybe move this as well. So let's select maybe let's do an LFO or something like that. So we have constant motion, something like that, right? So we have LFO one here, and let's set this to maybe one second and maybe increase this right here like that. And let's add the same LFO to the, uh, the bias over here. And as we turn these modulation amounts here, this is not gonna be moving because the live view is off. As soon as we turn this on here and we start playing some notes, we can see that it's actually moving in real time. We can turn it off if we want to save CPU, but I don't really know how much CPU that actually takes to be that significant, but it's kind of cool. I would kind of like to leave it on because it might be something kind of cool to look at. But uh, yeah, that's what the live view does over there. And yeah, spend some time with the fold module. It's kind of cool. You can fold some waves just like you fold anything else. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.